Hi guys, it's Steffi from The Novelty Corner. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my January book haul where I have seemingly acquired something like 24 books this month. That's just physical books, that's not even including my ebooks. But the good thing is I've read a lot of them, so I have that going for me. We're going to jump straight into it with my review copies for this month and I only have one and that is Iceberg by Claire Saxby, illustrated by Jess Rackliff. This is a children's non-fiction picture book all about Antarctica and I absolutely adored it. I did recently review it in my Books Beside My Bed video so you can definitely check it out there if you are interested in more details. I have one book from a subscription box and that is How to Fail at Flirting by Denise Williams. This was in my last bake rate box that I purchased and I have not yet picked this one up but I am very eager to at some point in the future. I also acquired a couple of new teaching reference books so occasionally I share these here. The first one is Notebook Connections by Amy Buckner. This is all about strategies for implementing readers notebooks in the classroom and also the Teacher's Guide to Writing Workshop Essentials. This book is written particularly for grades K to 5 but you can adapt it up or down as required and this is all about setting up the writer's workshop in your classroom which I do have and I just wanted to get some more information. And as I am currently training the staff on both of these things, professional reading for the win. I acquired two volumes of manga, both of them from the Fire and His Fingertip series. So this is volume one and volume two. And I got onto these because of Shay and Tamika. They're very steamy, very smutty. They come sealed. You see everything in these books, but they are fun. I also acquired Across the Green Grass Fields by Sean and Maguire. I collect these books every year and I like to get the lovely hardcover novellas, even though they are expensive, but I do love this series. This unfortunately is probably my least favourite book in the series, mostly because I don't think it added anything to the overall world that Shauna Maguire has built up in the Wayward Children series. If I read it as a standalone on its own, it's perfectly fine, but I still don't think it hold, it has the same punch as some of the other books. In this story, Regan travels through a portal doorway into a world that is just populated by magical equine races. You have unicorns and centaurs and all sorts of things. Whenever a human enters this world it heralds some upheaval or change within the world and Regan doesn't really want to change anything and she ends up living with a pack of centaur for a while then she goes on the run and then she has to face up to the fact that maybe she is there to do something and this is where I think that it lost its punch because I don't think her actual purpose there was anything remarkable which in itself is totally fine. It could be part of what Sean Maguire was trying to achieve, but it felt like it was building to something and then what it built to did not seem as significant and that was a bit of a letdown for me. I also acquired a physical copy of Blood Air. I read this twice in ebook form, so I will be rereading this at some point a third time because I want to tab it up and do all of those fun things that I love to do with books that I enjoy. This is the first book in the Aurelia Writer series and is a spin-off from the Kate Daniels series. This one is Julie's book and it was fantastic. I've talked about it twice this month. Go and check out one of those videos because I'm pretty sure everyone's sick of me talking about it. I received two more Katie Robert books from her Patreon. The first one is a physical copy of Abel, which was her January release, and this one has been signed and personalised to me. This is book one in the Sabine Valley series, and also the Wicked Villains Shorts collection, which again has been signed and personalised to me, and this is just a collection of all the Wicked Villain short stories that she released throughout the course of the books. So now my Wicked Villain series is really complete. I seem to have acquired five physical historical romance books this month. Who even am I? The first one is A Rogue by Any Other Name by Sarah McLean, which has a gorgeous step back. This one was a gift from Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. This was part of our Kris Kringle swap, but it takes forever for anything to get to Australia. So I got it rather late, but I'm so grateful because this was the very first Sarah McLean book that I read. So it's a very special book to me and I'm so glad that I have it. So thank you, Crystal. I also have one Good Earl Deserves a Lover, again with a gorgeous step back. Can't wait to read this one. I have a copy of My Fake Rake by Eva Lee and also two Tessa Dare books. So there is Do You Want to Start a Scandal? This one unfortunately does not have a step back. And also Say Yes to the Marquess. After my binge read of the Thorn Shuffle series in December, I ordered the physical copies of the books because I love them. So the first one is A Lesson in Thorns, Feast of Sparks, Harvest of Sighs, and Door of Bruises. And this is a very gothic, dark, erotic romance series that is just mind-boggling with everything that it includes in it, but I love it. And then the author I acquired the most books of in January was TJ Klune. So the only one of these books that I haven't read yet is The Extraordinaries, which is his young adult series I believe and the second book's coming out this year so this one I'm hoping to read in February because I'm just very excited to keep reading his books and I believe this is a story about superheroes and also the people who are just ordinary and I love those kinds of stories. I have absolute faith that TJ Quinn is going to smash it out of the park with this book. I also ordered a copy of The House in the Cerulean Sea which is my precious baby of a book. 
It is one of my favorite books that I've read this year. I suspect it will be my one of my favorite books for the entire year and it is as close to a perfect book for me that I can think of. It is just so precious and gorgeous and heartwarming. I have spoken about it in a Books Beside My Bed video already. I will leave that linked somewhere down there or on the screen. But I adore this and it just makes my heart happy to have it. I'm kind of thinking I want to deface the book and decorate it, but I don't know what to put on it. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. And then I also bought myself the Green Creek series. Book one is Wolf Song. Book two is Raven Song. Book three is Heart Song, which has my favorite couple of the series in it, and Brother Song, which is the final book. And all of these books, I think, just get better with every book. And I'm just so glad that I have them because I will definitely be doing a reread of these. One, so I can mark them up, but I also think I want to annotate inside the books because they just, they captured my heart last year. And I don't know what else I can say, except that I love them. Oh, that could be another read along series. I don't know. Oh, okay. I shouldn't get these ideas. Who knows how much time I'm going to have this year. I'm working full time. Oh, just so many books to read. So that is everything that I acquired in January. There are a lot that I've read. I'm buying the ones that I really want to keep. And hopefully that's what I'm going to continue to do. In the comments below, let me know something that you have purchased or acquired in the month of January, whether it's a bought it for yourself or whether you've borrowed it out from the library and you've really enjoyed it. I would love to hear about the books that you have had come into your life in the last month. Otherwise, I hope that wherever you are in the world, you are staying safe and healthy and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye everyone.